I was on the internet and I found this little pregnant quarter horse pony, very pregnant, who was $300 and she was going to ship to slaughter. She was in Fallon, Nevada and an organization um, picked her up and said, can anybody take this mare? And I hit the button and went, okay, now I got a horse. <laughs> and oh my gosh, when her foal was born, it was just so magical. I thought, you know what, I really can do this. I can save these mares. Pregnant Mare Rescue, it's a temporary sanctuary for the mare and foal. Pregnant mares come in, have their babies, nurse their young in peace. We know they've come from a difficult place. Rehabilitate them by gentling them as best we can and then finding them new homes. I um, stopped college about seven weeks before graduating and I joined a rock and roll band. And I played all up and down the West Coast. We were always doing benefits for local shelters, any um, animal organization or environmental organization that we felt akin to and wanted to raise money for. We've been riding all day. And the wild horses are sometimes walking right along with you. They had been rounded up by the Bureau of Land Management from the plains in northern Nevada. Most people are led to believe that those auction houses will rehome your horse to a nice family, when in fact 90% of them end up with kill buyers and then they're driven to the slaughter plants across our borders. The meat is shipped over to China where people eat it. So um, I was really taken aback. I started with $300 in the bank. That was it, but I did everything. I wrote my mission statement, I did my paperwork, I created my bylaws, I submitted everything to the IRS. Once people found that I had a small ranch at and that I was rescuing horses, then the calls come in fast and furious. You know, what kind of mares can you take? Can you take wild mares? Can you take Mustangs? How about the big drafts? So this is um, Mustang. There's a real, real big issue right now with our wild Mustang. They're really driving them to extinction and they're removing so many of them at such a high, high rate. So we have done it all. We've had untouchables, we've had wild, we've had damaged, abused. Most of the horses that we rescue end up being trail horses, companion horses. They're great for that kind of work. Horses are therapists. They are healers. They are best friends. Well, we're busy and running and driving and eating and shopping. They're still being horses. They're just there. They just are. Because of those gifts, they're able to really um, touch people on an amazingly deep level. Hi, little one. How are you? They're just really magical. That's how I feel about horses. Love you.